MongoDB is one of the most popular NoSQL databases at the moment, and there are several factors that contribute to its popularity. First of all, MongoDB is a document-oriented store, and for example, if you're working on the uh, news website or blogging platform, you can think of MongoDB document as being an article or blog post uh, on your website with attributes like content or tags assigned to it, da date it was created, and the author who wrote it. MongoDB documents are very flexible, they can be changed and extended. They are easy to manipulate within uh, most of the popular programming languages these days. And it's easier to write applications for MongoDB because developers don't have to manipulate SQL uh, within their code anymore. As any other NoSQL solution, MongoDB tries to address scalability and fault tolerance demands of the modern applications. For example, you can use various application schemas with MongoDB where you copy your data into multiple servers, which allows you to handle the failure of uh, one or more uh, servers without uh, losing your data. If you really need to scale MongoDB installation, you can choose a sharding approach where you split your big data size into smaller chunks and place each chunk on a separate machine to improve performance. You can also use a combination of replication and sharding to have uh, both scalability and high availability at the same time. MongoDB was designed as a multi-purpose database, which means there's a wide variety of use cases when you can apply it. But there are also some limitations that you should be aware of. For example, flexible document structure should be really approached with caution because having to maintain multiple versions of the same document within your application can make it very hard to maintain or develop new versions. There are also some limitations when it comes to the right performance in the current versions of MongoDB, which will hopefully be addressed in future. <laughs>